Alright, today's lecture is going to be on marginal analysis. First, some definitions. Marginal, we're just going to use that as a synonym for additional. So marginal analysis, what does it do? It compares the additional utility, satisfaction, of an additional unit of the product or activity to the additional opportunity costs. So what is it doing? It's comparing the extra satisfaction you get for doing an activity or uh, purchasing another product and it's comparing that, weighing that against the opportunity cost. So what benefit and what opportunity cost? It's weighing the two. For example, what is the marginal benefit of, of sleeping in an extra 15 minutes? I'm going to be less tired. I'm going to have more energy for that 15 minutes of sleep. The opportunity cost is going to be during that 15 minutes of sleep, what could I have done? Well, I could have woken up. I could have eaten breakfast. I could have done a bunch of different things. So marginal analysis weighs those two options to determine if you should sleep in an extra 15 minutes. Relevant questions here. For a marginal analysis, we're going to look at studying. And if I put one more hour of studying into my night, so I study for one, adi one additional hour, what difference will it make to my grade? Will it benefit me 5%? Will I increase it 5%? Well, for marginal analysis, analyzing something, we have to look at what difference is it going to cause. We have to weigh that with the opportunity cost. So what cost will it have to my family? I'm not going to spend that time with my family. I'm not going to spend that time with my friends. So to see if you want to study for another hour, you have to weigh the 5% increase in your grade to the time you could have spent with your parents. Kind of broken down here now. How much should we do of a particular activity? We should pursue activities as long as the marginal benefit exceeds the marginal opportunity cost. So as long as we're benefiting more than the opportunity cost we have of doing other things. We should pursue things up to the point where marginal benefit equals marginal opportunity cost. If the marginal benefit of another unit of the activity is greater than the opportunity cost, we should continue to do it. If the opportunity cost is greater, we should stop broken down a little more succinct here. If marginal benefit greater than marginal opportunity cost, go for it. Marginal benefit equals the op marginal opportunity cost, we should stop. Because if the marginal benefit then gets less than the marginal opportunity cost, we've gone too far. A question to ponder here. Minnesota Wild are beating the Colorado Avalanche at the end of the second period by 10 goals. It's a blowout, which I don't know if it would ever happen in reality. Um, should you leave and skip the last period of the hockey game or should you stay until the end? Well, if we were going to marginally analyze this, analyze, excuse me, <laughs> you'd see, well, is the benefit of watching the end of the game greater than all the other things I could be doing? Or the next best option that I could be doing, which is leaving, beating the traffic, maybe getting an early start home or something like that. We're going to break it down here into some numbers. Here's the marginal analysis of my trip to McDonald's. This columns the number of cheeseburgers I'm going to eat. Total level of satisfaction, the extra benefit I get, the opportunity cost, and then the marginal opportunity cost. I'm a f I haven't eaten a cheeseburger yet, so I'm at all zeros. My first cheeseburger, I get 10 satisfaction points, utility points, we'll say, from eating that first cheeseburger. So the marginal benefit, the additional benefit, well, I didn't have any utility to start off with. Now I have 10, so the extra benefit is 10. The opportunity cost is 2 because I got a little more full. I could have spent the money on something else. So that opportunity cost is 2. So the extra opportunity cost is now at 2 as well. And to see if this is a good choice, we're going to compare the two. Marginal benefit is greater than marginal opportunity cost. We're at a, kind of a total of plus 8. So I should eat that next cheeseburger. Do I want to have a second cheeseburger? Well, I'm only going to get five more utility points looking at here. My total is 15. I used to have 10, so now I have my marginal benefit is five utility points. My total opportunity cost is five, and the marginal opportunity cost is three. So if we compare five to three, I'm still at a plus two. So I should go ahead and eat that second cheeseburger because I'm going to get have an overall marginal benefit greater than marginal opportunity cost.